So I welcome you to the lecture series on Linux operating system and today our topic is logging into a Linux system. So we'll discuss everything in details about the logging into a Linux system. Now login. Once you have your Linux system up and running, you will be presented with a prompt asking for your username and this is often referred to as login prompt that prompt is known as login prompt you know debian gnu linux 3.0 debian tty1 that is terminal 1 debian logging this type of prompt you will see now where you have to first enter your what login id so you have to enter your username and you will be prompted then for a password after entering the username that is your login id you will be prompted for a password so then password you need to enter now main important thing you have to note down that traditional unix system have an eight character limit on usernames and passwords that is about traditional unix system but Linux based operating system have a limit of 256 characters. You should note it down. Sometimes ask in the exam what is the character limit? Then this is the 256 characters. Most Linux distributions can also be configured to operate in legacy mode using eight characters, usernames, and password, and so allow better interoperability with existing Unix installations. So you can do that with legacy mode so that eight character limit will persist but in our case in maximum uh, linux flavors you will find the limit as 256 characters well now we have password file these files are very important you know in unix everything is treated as a file one of the most important files on an unix like system is the password file and this file is located in etc directory you know this slash you have forward slash you have backward slash but both have different meaning can you tell me what type of slash i am using here well this etc directory where we have this file password file so sometimes question may be coming that where this password file located so that is located in etc directory and this is known as passwd don't confuse this passwd with password they are same meaning but the file is actually passwd do not write it as password well the file originated on Unix 7 edition and maintain the same format to this day. Seven colon delimited fields and these fields are in order like username, password, placeholder, user ID, group ID, then Zico's field, home directory, cell. Well, this particular parameters are very important. Note it, note them. Okay. Now, an excerpt form of the password file is like this. You see root x00 root root bin bash. So this information actually possesses these are username, password placeholder, user ID, group ID, Zikos ID, Zikos field, sorry, home directory, then cell. Which type of cell? Like this, in this case, I'm using base cell. Well, so root, suppose username is root here, so root. In that way, you will match them with these ones. I hope this is clear to you. Then you will see the exact file as a table like this. You see username, password placeholder, user ID, group ID, because field, home directory shell. So this type of particular file known as password file we have in etc directory. Now here user ID is a numeric identifier which the operating system uses to identify that which files belong to you 
the system always thinks of you in terms of a number you should mind it okay so it uses the fastos file to convert the number into a more human friendly form that is your username and this username is a name that you have chosen for that has been given to you by the system administrator and is the name that you will use to log into the system clear so basically although user id is a numeric identifier but that is a number but uh, we will be represent will be presented as a name here okay mostly given by you or your administrator then we have group id that is very similar a unix group may contain known or one or more users who will then be able to access the files and directories owned by that group and based on the, the group permissions as we have discussed now this is useful for sharing files between two people as a file can only have one owner but users uh, got from the term group that in a group we have either zero one or more users so that we can share file with each other now modern implementations make use of a concept called user private group upc and this means that each group or each user is assigned to their own group which is given the same name as their username do note it this user is the only member of that group the zcos field was originally added to early unix systems in order to enable interoperability with an operating system written by general electric called general electric comprehensive operating system that is zcos now this field is used to store your full name possibly your room and telephone number that is our zcos field then we have final two fields that are our home directory where all your files means our files are usually stored as well as your choice of the command cell that's that those are the two last fields in a password file so that's it the this is important because password file contains everything about you your password information then group information zcos information home directory shell you are using so please note it there okay and we have seen that password file is in the etc directory so this is about our login information that is logging into a linux system how it exactly happens okay so question for today is that what do you understand by logging into a linux system and what are the contents that you have in a password file and in which directory this password file located so comment your answer meet you in the next lecture so till then take care bye bye